Alongside Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Cebulski, ready to bring you period number three. Toronto's power play gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot, just wide of the net. Nearing the point. The Ducks have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heischer. Anaheim's got it across the line. Into the offensive end now. Passes ahead from the right side. Pokes the puck away. It's a three on one. Wrists one. Scores with the man advantage. Over the last couple of games, the signs were there that this power play was going to break out. They start to move the puck around and don't score. Tonight, they move it around and they do cash in. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. Anaheim's won the draw in the neutral zone. The power play by number and now he tries to get it across to Lemieux. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Ducks have it in the offensive end. Moves it to Lemieux. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Toronto's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. He was locked in there. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflated. Can't catch up to the pass. No one home on that play. Maintains possession. And there's the save. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Eichel's contributed. He scores! Shays of an HL 94, baby! The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Anaheim's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And now he moves it to Schmaltz. Couldn't complete the play. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Riley. The Leafs carry it along the wall. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends it over, and that's picked off in front. The Leafs take it across the line. Excellent stick work on the play. Gains the zone from the right side. Puts it to the front of the net, scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. This is why you keep your head on a swivel. Defensively, you've got to find where the open man is. Otherwise, you've got a guy standing there pounding a one-timer from the high slot. Anaheim's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Through center along the wing. Great chance in front, big time stop there. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Moves the puck over to Nylander. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. The Leafs go to work on offense. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. And that one's broken up. And now he angles it across to Hyman. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a chance, a 2 on 0 And scores on the breakaway. Beautiful. He got out ahead of the pack. And now all that's left is to finish 
this great opportunity, and he does. Man, did he have a big smile when he came past the bench for the fist bumps. The breakaway is a sweet way to score. The Leafs have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Anaheim's won it at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Nice pass. Toronto's got the puck here in the open ice. The Leafs take it along the wall. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's the pass. Not able to connect. Grabbed along the board by Patan. Takes the feed from his own end. Here he is, all alone. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. Sends it out right in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Kerfoot's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. The Leafs once again send out their power play unit. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Tavares had the wheel over to the bench, James. His stick broke. He needed a new one. McCarr's got the puck along the wing. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And that's broken up. Takes the feed. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Slides it across. Not even close. Wow, the net's in the same place for 100 years. He missed it by 20 feet. Smart defensive play there. Anaheim's got it along the wall. And that's picked off. Nice zone entry from the right side. Breakaway. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. The Leafs still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? Thompson into the Ozone. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Darlene. Return pass. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Picked up along the wall by Mulgan. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And it's kicked away. And now it's over to VC. Wax it into the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Now a quick pass to Keller. Under a minute to go in the third. And he comes up with the save. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Muzzin's lugging the puck. Quick pass to Mulgan. Here's a short pass to Bogosian. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Move to the middle, turns it away. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Matthews wins possession in the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Campbell. Sergachev swooping in on the attack. Move to the middle. Shot right in front. Stones up with the blocker. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. The final 10 seconds. And we've got a two-on-one. Strong defensive effort. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Toronto's obviously not going to win every game this season, but the way they lost tonight to end that streak, Ray, wow. Uh, it's easy to say that you can smell this in the morning, but they didn't practice very well. They didn't have much energy, and it carried over to tonight.
You know, when they first started doing this, it seemed a little hokey. I can't imagine it without it now. Yeah, I'm with you. I thought it was strange when they started. Now, if they didn't do it, I would think they're not getting it right. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.